Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a mixed media mayhem layout. I am not actually playing along with 30 Days of Sketches today because uh, I'm actually using the inspiration piece from Mixed Media Mayhem, although it is very similar in respect that it has uh, the sketch today has three photos down this uh, left hand side where I'm placing my washi tape and then it actually has a larger photo kind of where the photo is on this um, inspiration piece but I'm not cheating I'm just saying I'm doing mixed media mayhem and so our mixed media inspiration piece comes from Melania Burton and her blog is happymelscrap.blogspot blogspot.com. I'll put that down below for you in case you're interested in that. I'm using some washi tape or washi um, fabric tape from uh, the Everywhere collection. I believe this is from Everywhere anyway, uh, from 49 and Market. And then I did use a stencil that I got in my uh, March kit embellishment kit from Some Assemblage Required. And now I am using some paint from, uh, these are leftover paints that we used on our cruise. And I am using a pink and a, well, it's kind of like a peachy pink uh, salmon-y color and a white. And I'm kind of blending that in right over that stenciling. I did just use some texture paste. Uh, it was text um, opaque matte texture paste from Ranger and I'll put links down below for these products uh, the paint I am using is just from Hobby Lobby one is a folklore brand I believe and the other one is um, actually it might be for folklore or it might be Anita's which is I believe the Hobby Lobby brand but it is helping to bring out that texture that I already laid down and I really like the way that this is looking. Now you might be looking at my photo and wondering what the heck I am documenting today. This is actually a cruise photo. Um, this is the first night we arrived in Miami at our Airbnb. It was me, Sandy, and MK and we didn't get in until like 8.30, MK and I anyway. Sandy got in earlier in the day. Um, or in the afternoon. So by the time we got to our Airbnb, I don't know, it was, I don't know, nine something because uh, we had to wait for baggage and all of that good stuff and then Uber over there. And so we were hungry and decided um, to uh, use Uber Eats and order some Chick-fil-A. Um, Sandy was hungry as well. So we just put in our order and we were waiting for um, Nelson, our delivery person, who was supposed to be in a Hyundai Elantra to deliver our food. And so we were standing out in front of the Airbnb because we kind of had a back unit behind a house, like a cottage, not cottage, but yeah, kind of a cottage, a little separate room, um, a separate a room with a separate entrance behind the house. So it wasn't really like the easiest thing for the uh, person to find and um, deliver. So we were like, okay, he's gonna, he's close by, we'll go out and meet him at the curb. And a car drove past and we were like, okay, that I believe was supposed to be our food. And they just kept going, okay, that must not be our food. And then a guy pulled up on a scooter. Yes, a motorized scooter. And he had our bag of food. And we were like, wait, this is not a Hyundai Elantra. This is like, just a dude on a scooter and he handed us the bag and he gets off of his scooter and opens up his scooter seat, which, which is where he had squished our drinks into. Yeah. He was sitting on our drinks. I don't know if you can tell in the photo, um, that cup is actually smashed down as if it's a collapsible cup that kind of like telescopes and our drinks were kind of like spilling out the top and he just basically handed him to us and we all just stood there kind of like uh oh, okay this is interesting he got back on his scooter shut the little compartment that he sat on and drove off um I'm pretty sure there was like lemonade all stuck in his in his little compartment yeah it was very weird um but I think we were all kind of speechless and dumbfounded that this guy just delivered our food and our drinks that he was sitting on. Um, yeah, it was weird. So I'm documenting that. I am using a, I used a stamp from All and Create. This is, uh, was available over in MK Shop. I'm not sure if this is actually still available or not, but I will look it up and it, um, put the link down below in case it is. And I just used some <laughs> archival ink and a little bit of uh, walnut stain to go ahead and squish that down on my layout. And then I used a Stampin', not Stampin' Up, Close to My Heart stamp uh, 
that just had a bit of like a tile pattern on it to add a little bit more mixed media and just used my archival ink for that. I pulled out a few tags to tuck behind my photo. My journaling is going to go on that craft colored tag that is in a little sleeve. And it's going to give me plenty of room to write the story of Nelson, who sat on our drinks and delivered our food by his feet on his scooter. Um, yeah, our food was really cold by the time it got there, even though it was, uh, you know, in Miami and it wasn't freezing outside or anything. But um, it was, yeah, probably the worst, um, the worst I would say DoorDash, but it wasn't DoorDash, it was Uber Eats. Um, the worst delivery, uh, food delivery I have received using one of these services, <laughs> but I was, it was very, very strange. So I went through some of my um, more masculine collections that I've got, and I've got a couple from uh, Coco Vanilla, and this Epic was in there. I knew I wanted the word Epic, but and that's the only collection I could think of that I knew right off the bat had it. So I found this word Epic in one of the Coco Vanilla collections. I'm not even sure which one it's from. And I pulled out these stickers that say, um, that spell out the word fail. I thought that it would be pretty easy to find that because I didn't need an E and I did have one A left in this collection of stickers. So I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put epic fail because it really was an epic fail on his part. <laughs> we did uh, log a complaint over their website or their, their app and, um, I don't know if it was a discount or some money back off of it uh, uh, for the next purchase or whatever that MK got and took care of. But yeah, it, it was nuts. Um, and, and totally not worth the money. <laughs> totally not worth it. Although normally I really do love, love Chick-fil-A. Their chicken's great, but it was cold and um, yeah. It, and it made a huge mess because the lemonade was still dripping all over the place. So I pulled out all of these little tiny word stickers to put on this layout. They say stuff like, what the question mark? Um, here comes trouble. Special. Did you see that? Seriously and unbelievable. Unbelievable is going under epic fail. So it'll say uh, epic fail, unbelievable. And then I added a couple of arrows that were also in the same collection as the epic. I don't... I, you know, I really honestly don't know what collection that was from, but again, it's an old cocoa vanilla collection that was more masculine. So I did my journaling. It took up both sides of that tag and I tucked that in so it'll be easy to uh, pull that out and read that at some point. And then I'm adding another um, arrow pointing at the drinks and I'm going to move one of these little phrases down near that arrow to kind of include it a little bit more. She's got a lot of buttons kind of spread out on hers and I didn't do that. I went with the word stickers and these arrows. She does have arrows on hers as well. And then uh, she's got a bunch of stamping of the date. So I went ahead and emulated that a bit and stamped a little bit, um, you know, second and third generation with my date stamp. I'm adding a little bit of black marble dilutions sprinkled over the top and then I'm going to add a little bit of media gloss in white and in blushing. Blushing is that pink color that I'm using currently and then I'll add some white as well. And that roller date stamp is from Heidi Swap. I got that uh, last month uh, so it's got 2023 and all the way into 2030 something. Um, and then I'm going to just ink up the entire outside of my layout with a little bit of black soot distress ink to kind of finish it off. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I guess I didn't tell you that I did use my ruler. You probably saw it. I dipped it in my ink pad and then just stamped it along that uh, vertical line to give a little bit more detail in there. That is it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. There will be links or a playlist down below for Mixed Media Mayhem. So you can go and check out what everyone else is doing with this particular inspiration piece and what they are, how they are interpreting it for their own layouts. Um, if you have questions or comments, you can leave those down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. I'd love for you, for you to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys again soon with another video. Thanks. Bye-bye.